In this video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how you can use emojis inside of ClickUp to help you organize your custom fields. So essentially the reason that this is important is because oftentimes if you've been in ClickUp for a while now, you may have a lot of different custom fields within your workspace. And so you're trying to use those custom fields, whether it's at the everything level to basically create a filtered view, or maybe you're trying to do uh, build out a dashboard and really the same thing you wanna add in filters to this as well. And so you can come down here and, and we can add a filter. And these filters can be tied to custom fields. So if I come back here to the other thing level to show you what this would look like, say you're trying to filter by a specific custom field. So I go down here to add filter. And then if I go uh, past all of ClickUp's native uh, fields that they have in here, you'll start to see the custom fields that I have available to me to use as a filter as well. And so this is actually more of a feature inside of ClickUp than it used to be. We basically just took this emoji here, as you could see for each of these custom fields and put it before the name, but now it's, and I'll show you what this looks like. It's actually more built into the platform, which is super nice. But essentially the way that this can be used is, as you know, all of these are gonna be basically alphabetical order. So if I have a ton of different custom fields and I don't necessarily know what the, the name of that custom field is that I'm really trying to use and I'm just kind of navigating there. If you do, that's completely fine. I can just search for it. But as you come here and you have more and more custom fields, it can be very difficult to navigate and really find which one you're looking for. In addition, even if it is in alphabetical order, it's nice to have really that image in front of it so that it really calls out to you to know, oh, this is, this is what I'm looking for. So as you can see here, all of my custom fields, because I have emojis applied to them in front, and this is, I'll show you what this looks like, but this is basically tied to the location where that custom field lives in, which is gonna give you that emoji. This is gonna help make it way easier for me to be able to kind of come in here and find the emoji that I'm looking for and just make it way more organized and just visually appealing and, and pretty inside of my ClickUp workspace. Cause you could see a bunch of these here um, based off the location that they're living in. So I'll give you a couple of different um, sort of reasons that this could be helpful and sort of how this is actually built out. So as you can see, let's say I have a bunch of different spaces in my ClickUp workspace. And let's say uh, aside from just the active work that we're working on in the system, which that's in my delivery growth and operation spaces, if you've seen a bunch of our videos, let's say we have a CRM space as well. So the CRM space is essentially where I'm gonna store a bunch of records for all of our maybe contacts and companies and deals and things like that. So if I navigate down here and you'll see the emojis already in front of this list name here, we'll go to deals. And so these are the names of the deals that we have um, as a business. And so within that, we have a bunch of different custom fields here as well. So as you can see, I am using a, a custom field here with this handshake. So if I go to edit field, you'll see that. And again, we used to just kind of put it in directly in front of that name, but now it's actually right here for you to easily go ahead and select that and choose it. So I highly recommend you use it because what this does now is it's basically gonna help me group together all of these different custom fields in one of those view filters. And so as you can see, all the custom fields in this list are going to have that emoji tied to them to again, make it very easy for me to find all of the emojis in a filter that are tied to this list. So the same thing goes for companies here as well. We got this little building that I can see there. So all the custom fields in there will have that. And then if I go into contacts, the same thing will follow uh, with that as well. And then if I go, let's say we're running EOS inside of ClickUp as well, the entrepreneurial operating system. If I go to, let's say my rocks list, essentially every custom field that's tied to those rocks will also have a little rock emoji. So it makes it easy for me to find those in filters as well. So it's just kind of based off of the location that that, uh, custom field lives in will help me sort of build out what that emoji might be. So don't go ahead and build a bunch of different emojis um, in here, keep them all consistent. That way they're all grouped together in that view filter to make it very easy for you to find them. And so another uh, great thing is to say, okay, maybe there's going to be some custom fields that are going to live across uh, different spaces. They're mainly going to be like my main custom fields that I'm going to have. So what we do um, inside of our workspace, as you could see here, is all of those custom fields that are really living in a bunch of different locations, I put a star on. So those are my basically main custom fields that I have across the workspace. I'll use a star to really label those. You don't have to use a star. That's just kind of our way of labeling it. And so again, essentially when you build all of that and you use emojis, that just makes it way easier for you to, to organize uh, your workspace and just make it easier to go ahead and find those custom fields in filtered view. So find ways like that to just organize your workspace a little bit better, make it a little bit cleaner. 
Again, they can be used for decoration, but they also have a purpose that we're using to, again, just build some organization, make it easier to find things, and just make it easier for the team to use overall. Because again, we're looking for a system that's easier to use, a little bit more simple for the team to help them just gain momentum, get more bought into the system, and just enjoy using it more in general. So hopefully that tips helps you. Hopefully you start building that out inside of your workspace. If you have any questions about that, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I highly recommend you go to our website and download our how to use ClickUp guide. It's about 56 pages. That's going to walk you through a lot of different tips like this to help you sort of set up ClickUp for your business to make it easier for you for your team to use, as well as just provide you better and more powerful reports on the other end as well. So again, appreciate you watching. I'll see you again in the next video.